before I let you out of here, your your book, um, The Last Narc, you got it with you. Yes, sir, I do. It's right here. The Last Narc. What was your motivation to write this book? And where can we go find it? First of all, my motivation to write the book was because when I was working for the DEA, I could only trust one person who I would always consult and tell the truth, which was my father. And I would come and tell my father, who was an uneducated laborer, who was a bricklayer, that this is going on and that's going on. And I knew my father could keep a secret. So one day my father told me, he says, son, please write a book. You have to write a book. You have to let the people know the truth about this Camarena murder. And and I would tell my dad, I don't know, dad, if I should write a book, you know, it's so serious. He says, please, son, you owe it to humanity. You have to write the book. So I said, okay, I'll, I'll, okay, I'll write the book. But then he had a major heart attack and he was at the hospital and the doctor said, I have to, I have to t let you guys know that I have to go back in again um, and he might die. So uh, I, I can, I, 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 I operate on him, but he's not doing well. I have to go in again and he's probably not going to make it. So say your goodbyes to your dad now. So I went into the room where he was and I said, dad, it's not looking good. And he says, I know. He said, tell him not to operate on me, Hector. I, I'm not, I'm not going to make it. And I said, Dad, we have to have him operated. You, you know, you might make it. So anyway, he says, I listen, son. Remember what I, I, I asked you to promise me. And I said, what, Dad? You had to write that book. And I wrote the book for him. Wow. Wow. Very deep. You know, I, I I did see the last narc um, on Amazon, and and I also saw uh, part of your stories on uh, Narcos Mexico. Right. How how accurate is the Narco series? The Narco series was not adequate. It's not accurate at all. Um, it's, a lot of it is creative writing, as they as they as they say. I uh, did not want to participate with them because they did not want to tell the CIA uh, involvement in, in the in the series as being the bad guys. They wanted to portray the CIA as heroes, and I told them that I could not participate in that because I had written a book where I had outlined the truth about the CIA's involvement, not only in bringing in tons of cocaine, but their involvement in having a hand in Kiki's murder. So therefore, uh, even though they have a, 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 an act to play my part, um, you know, I, I did not participate in, uh, with them at all uh, with, the, with the series. So we should take that story as, uh, I mean, because it was a great series, but but it's, from your standpoint, Hollywood, it's fiction. Yes, it, it's 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 based on the truth, uh, but it's not the truth. And as as Eric Newman told me himself, uh, that it was creative writing that uh, they need they, they were there to entertain. And I told him, but it's not the truth. He said, "Who cares?" He said, "You know, we want you to participate participate with us. We'll take care of you. We'll make you famous." And I said, "I, I don't want to be made famous uh, unless I put out the truth." And my my, my thing is more important than money, is to get the truth to the public. Speaking of money, you, you have taken lives. Uh, you gave the better part of your life to the U.S. government um, in service of the U.S. government. Were you well paid? No, not really. Um, I never reached uh, the high levels of uh, of, of uh, government or a supervision in government. You know, I was paid okay, but I wasn't wealthy or anything like that. I was 
the highest ever awarded DEA agent in the history of DEA. I think to this date, I'm probably the highest uh, awarded agent. I received the U.S. Attorney General's Award for Heroism at the White House, by the way, issued to me by Ed Meese, Attorney General Ed Meese. And I also received the highest award that any federal agent can receive, which is a Medal of Valor from all the, uh, the, the the federal bar, which is all the directors of all the all the uh, law enforcement agencies in the in the U.S. government. So I have the highest award, but money, I I, I don't have any money. Under which president, and I'm assuming it wasn't Bush Senior, did you receive these awards? Uh, basically, I don't remember who the president was at the time, but it was Ed Meese was the attorney general. And I also worked with, uh, believe it or not, uh, Bill Barr. I met him. Uh, I went up to the White House and briefed uh, numerous uh, attorney generals uh, to include Janet Reno. So I, I, I met a lot of these uh, big high government officials because I would go to Washington and brief them. Okay, um, I asked you about the Netflix series, and I, I want to speak about the uh, the Amazon series, The Last Narc, which is based on your writings, which is the truth. Um, you appeared in that documentary. How uh, much input did you have in that documentary? How true is that documentary? And there were people who were actually in the room, criminals that were in the room that you later uh, brought to the table and had them give their version of what went on in that room. What was their motivation to appear in that series? My motivation was, again, to get the truth to the people so that this kind of situation will never be repeated again where we have our own government killing our own agents i mean that's horrible to even think about it but that's what happened in this case yes i knew that it was going to be very controversial and yes i knew that they were going to come out and state that a lot of it was not true i knew i was going to have opposition as a matter of fact the dea called amazon and requested that they don't put this thing out. And I know who the agent that called my name, and I also talked to the people at Amazon that he talked to and said that they should not put this documentary out. If you remember, Sean, it was scheduled to come out a certain month. I kept, I think it was scheduled to come out like in May, and it didn't make it till July. They stopped it. They did not want this coming out. The Camarena murder case to this day is being covered up. To this day. The CIA ain't going to ever admit that they killed or they had their hand in Camarena's murder. They're never going to admit that. So they're always going to say that I'm a liar. But yet, to all those people that ask me, Hector, everybody's saying that this is not true. I said, listen, look at the, the allegations I've made, how serious they are. Do you think that if I would have made this up and was accusing these people just, just to accuse them or for fame or money, which I, I, I don't have to make any money off of this stuff. Do you think they wouldn't have charged me with subordination or perjury, at, to say the least? I said, and put me in jail? And put not only me, but the witnesses and everybody, the U.S. attorney uh, that testified, uh, uh, that appeared in, in the documentary. Why don't they arrest us all? They can't. Because they know it's the truth. They can verbally say, oh, that's not true. And, 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 and Hector just trying to, I've even accused him, he's trying to incite a, 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 a riot in the country, a racial riot, trying to, the blacks, to be upset at the CIA. I've been accused of all that, Sean. But you know what? My answer to them is, if I'm not telling the truth, then why don't they charge me? Put me, AUSA, Assistant AUSA Manny Medrano, the witnesses, put us all in jail. Everybody that came out in the documentary knows the truth. But it's easy to say somebody's a liar, but... Substantiate it. Do something about it. They can't because it's the truth. Uh, you, you know, I asked you about those guys who were in the documentary um, who were in the room. And, and these guys were criminals yes. um, that, that you were able to bring over. How, how did you convince them to, to show their faces and to appear in this documentary? Like, what was in it for them? 
basically they were, remember, they were trying to eliminate him too because they killed a lot of people that were involved because they didn't want this to come out. So they were killing him. A lot of these guys were, remember, they were running. So I found out who they were and I told them, I said, if you come over here, I can save you. You don't have to hide and run in Mexico. And, and I used, uh, I'm a very, I'm a very devout Catholic. And uh, I would ask him on the phone and when I talked to them, I said, listen, you come up here and you cooperate with us. You're not going to be arrested. I know you, you've been arrested in Mexico and they're trying to get you down there. I promise you that I will not arrest you. And they, and they would tell me on the phone, how do we know you're not going to arrest us? We, you know we participated. We were there. And I would say, do you, I would always tell them, do you believe in God? Because most Mexicans are very religious, as I am. And they would say, yeah, I believe in God. If I told you right now, I swear to Jesus Christ, the Lord, that if you come and cooperate, I will not arrest you. But you have to tell me the truth. And then they would say, well, I said, listen, I'm, I'm a Catholic and you are. I would not put God's name here if I would have been lying to you. That's how I got him to come up. 